abiding in Christ by walking in the Spirit. Jesus told his followers to abide in him. John 15 is packed with information about abiding in Christ. You do this by walking in the Spirit. I am the true vine. My Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, unless it abides in the vine, and neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered, and they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you that my joy may remain in you, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends. If you do whatever I command you, no longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends. For all things I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name he may give you. These things I command you, that you love one another. Those people born again and walking in the Spirit have been given a ministry. They've been told what to do. Jesus and Holy Spirit is right there helping people along and guiding them. You can be fruitful only if you abide in Christ. Apart from Him, you cannot bear any fruit. The Father is glorified by His disciples bearing much fruit. These are good works that God had prepared for each of us ahead of time, that we should walk in them. When John tells us more about what abiding in Jesus is, and the world is passing away in the lust of it, but he who does the will of God abides forever. Therefore, let that abide in you what you heard from the beginning. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, you will also abide you also will abide in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that He has promised us, eternal life. But the anointing which you have received from Him abides in you, and you do not need that anyone teach you. But as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things, and is true and is not a lie, and just as it has taught you, you will abide in Him. If you know He is righteous, you know that everyone who practices righteousness is born of him. Now he who keeps his commandments abides in him and he in him. And by this we know that he abides in us by the spirit he has given us. By this we know we abide in him and he in us because he has given us of his spirit. Therefore walk in the spirit and do what he says and you will bear much good fruit.